This is a Game Caviar production. Oh, all right. Not happening in the Game Caviar Studios. Live come on something different. Lollipop Chainsaw. Uh, this is a game I totally took a, uh, a a chance on when it first came out. And it, uh, it actually was pretty cool. I hadn't played it in a while. But I figured I was doing so much like Call of Duty and games like that. I need to uh, switch it up a little bit. And what's the perfect way of switching up your 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 game uh, rotation than having a a a chick killing zombies in a mini skirt in a cheerleader outfit, a uniform with a chainsaw? I don't know of any other way that I would be able to do that. Oh no, I wasn't supposed to do that. Anyway, you can expect more of the uh, Call of Duty later i don't know maybe tonight maybe tomorrow now i want to get back on league of legends but um yesterday it was giving me some trouble so i didn't really get a chance to get on it like that ah what you gonna do ah ha 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 this game right here is pretty awesome if you like a bunch of uh older uh hard rock songs they have a bunch of songs like that that are featured in this game Beyond that, if you just want like a like a hack and slash zombie killer, this is the game for you. Woo! Got him. Oh, 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 oh. Destroy blue barrels to make zombies groggy. Hit them hard while they are defenseless. Alright, let me try to do that. Oh, got him. I don't remember all the controls, man. I remember using... Oh, okay. Yeah, I know if you kill more than one zombie at a time, you get, like, special bonuses and whatnot. And then you can use those bonuses to buy, like, health and stuff in the, uh, at the store. And you also have to look out for these damn special lollipops that give you some sort of power or something. I don't know. I don't remember, man. This game is just fun to play. If you want something to pass the time and you're tired of playing the, uh, the, the normal... Your, whatever your normal game rotation is, whether it's Call of Duty or uh, Final Fantasy, I don't know, whatever you like to play. I was looking at, uh, I was um, looking at, good lord, I was looking at Magnum Triumphs, his, uh, his latest video, and he was talking about how, uh, uh, what is it, El Presidor and uh, I think Wings of Redemption, they were on uh, Twitter beefing and it got like really serious. I don't know. He, I didn't see it because I'm not on Twitter that much. Not as much as uh, I probably should be. But uh, he was saying that it got really crazy. And, like, somebody was, like, threatening to, to drive to the other person's house. I think he said Wings of Redemption was about to go to El Presidor's house and, and kill him or something. And El Presidor was trying to, he said he was going to go to the FBI. I don't know if that was, like, I don't know if they were putting on a show. But if that was serious, then that's really crazy. And what he was saying was, and I agree, is that these dudes are grown men. They need to act like it. And it's true. They really do. And, I mean, there's no reason to ever go and, and be that serious about something that somebody says to you over the internet. I, it is really not. Especially when you're dealing with YouTube uh, videos and Twitter comments. When you really get down to it, if you're... Uh, yeah, yeah. If you're an adult and you somebody says something about you that you don't like on the internet, whatever, man. If you want to have like a uh, a a a, a, in, a mature debate about it and go about your business and just do whatever you want, and you know, even if you agree to disagree, I mean, as long as you guys know that it's like. As long as you keep it civil and keep it mature, you don't have to go to the, uh, to the, uh, I'm gonna come to your house and kill you scenario. You don't have to go down that road. That's kind of weird, man. And, and these guys, and honestly, they could have been putting on the show, you know, just a publicity stunt type deal. Um, I'm being optimistic and saying that and hoping that that's really what it was. But, uh, um, if it wasn't, then, whew, boy, uh, I guess things really got real. Seriously. And, 
I guess some guys they just take this like making YouTube and YouTube videos and what other people say they take it serious, you know, to the point where it's like they they don't care. They you know they they do that and it's good to have that passion when you're doing something like uh, YouTube and stuff like that. But you also gotta have a limit on that stuff, man. You just can't go around and, and say stuff like that as I jump into the door like an idiot because I press the wrong button. Oh man, this is crazy. How long is this video? Five minutes. Uh, I was gonna do some COD 4. It'll probably be my next video on the uh, Road to a Heart Attack series on COD. I seem to be getting a lot of positive feedback. I like it. Uh, I'm gonna stray away from Modern Warfare 3 a little bit and go to the, uh, oh, here's that shop I was telling you about. Yeah, I'm gonna stray away from Modern Warfare 3 a little, a little bit, get some Black Ops, and then COD 4 is gonna do some old school free for all. And I'm going to talk about that. I'm not going to get into it right now. But, um, yeah, I'm going to get into that. Let me see what they have here in the store. Let's see here. Let's see here. How many medals do I have? Four, 17? What is this? What is that? Lolly O'Copter. Oh, that sounds amazing. Press Y and X doing a chainsaw dash. This will actually be a flying chainsaw attack. All right. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we can get. Health and upgrades. Lollipop. Oh, I already have enough. All right. I think when they did this game, man, they really, they knew what they were doing. They were going to sell the, uh, the, the set. See that? Like right there when she's like bent over real seductively in front of the camera. They sold sex in this game well. And uh, I think that, I mean, because there's no other reason for her to be the way that she is. And I don't know any, I don't know whether this is like a, uh, like a, uh, what is it? Uh, like a, a comic book series or if there's some sort of backstory to this. I don't know. And it could be. This is just maybe who the character is. But if that's not, if they just came up with this from scratch, they did a real good job of selling sex to help sell this video game. And, uh, you know, people have the argument, the sex sell, the sex sell. Hell yeah, it sells. It does. It sells a lot. I mean, seriously, it does. Um, unless you're selling, like, you know, Bibles or something like that. Then, then it will become weird, you know? Uh, if you're trying to do some, something religious or anything like that, then it's like you would stray away from the sexiness. But for video games and for magazines, like... You know, you look at Lowrider Magazine and you look at Maxim, they have that to where it's, you know, the sex sells. And it does. Oh my God, what did I just do? What did I do? Oh, I know what I did. All right. I, I wasn't trying to do that. I was trying to use my damn health. Uh, okay, well that's showcasing her special move. I mean, I don't know. I, I can't remember how to use her damn thing though. Like yeah, sex sells, man. I mean, it, and it should become as common sense. I don't think anybody's gonna argue with that. Um, and it, this game is a perfect example. Uh, I didn't necessarily buy the game because it was crazy. The only reason why I started checking out this game, ah, I got some lint in my mouth. The only reason why I started checking out this game is because it was called Lollipop Chainsaw. And before I knew anything else about it, I was like, look at that move. That's crazy. I was like, what the hell is a Lollipop Chainsaw? And I went and I had, uh, and I went and did a search on it. And it, uh, I got all the information on it. And I was like, damn, that sounds kind of cool. And it might be something that I want to check out. I really wish I hadn't paid sixty dollars for it. it. This game right here shouldn't have been sixty dollars, and it it was probably sixty dollars just because they had to pay for the licensing for the songs that are in the game. While I did not want to pay sixty dollars for this game, and the reason why it was sixty dollars, if I'm correct, and it, it it was because of the licensing for the music, I can understand why they did that because the music in this game really makes it awesome besides the fact that the the basic concept is you're chopping up zombies with a chainsaw and you got some like your boyfriend's head strapped to your damn uh waist 
other than that, um, if they didn't have the music, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily want to pay sixty dollars for this game. If you could find this game like really cheap, I would definitely pick it up. Like you know, maybe a buy one get one half off sale or something like that. I would definitely pick this game up. But if you're a fan of like uh, uh, video games that where you are required to kill zombies and you just want a hack and slash game, uh, then I would definitely pick this game up too. Cause this game is like, this this is like the chainsaw version of Bayonetta, where Bayonetta was like, you just go around and you you shoot monsters and whatnot, and there's no real, it's no real skill involved in that game. This is the same way. Like I literally, like you have a set amount of moves and whatnot that you could do, but I don't necessarily need to do those moves. I can literally just mash on buttons all day, and I could probably get a fair. Uh, I might be able to even beat the damn game if not get really far into it before I would have to actually put forth some sort of effort in getting the damn uh, learning the, the the different moves and whatnot. So if you want a hack and slash game that's pretty cool, it has cool music. It does have a really uh, jail bait uh, kind of uh, main character then uh, I would definitely check it out. Uh, it's not a bad game at all. It's just paying full price, paying $60 for it was like, that was one of those impulse buys that I wish I had have been more patient on. Like, I, I, like, like kind of like Operation Raccoon City. When that game first came out, it was like uh, $60, I believe. I'm pretty sure it was. And then every, it, it started getting those really bad reviews. So they dropped the price on it really quick. And I got to get it for, I, I got to buy it for $25, you know. And that game is actually not as bad as the reviews made it seem. I like the game. It's not like a classic Resident Evil game, but it is a decent game. Something to pass the time. Sometimes you just got to get those games that you really don't, you really don't care about the backstory or anything like that, but you just want to break the monotony of your normal rotation of games. So, the Operation Raccoon City and and even this game and uh, other game. I don't. Uh, what other games do you guys like to play? Because I'm always looking to get some sort of uh, some some games that I can really just switch up my style on. Uh, yeah, like I said, Operation Raccoon City and Lollipop Chainsaw. Those are two games that I have that are different than my normal shooting shooting games because I love shooting games the most. Uh, but um, what do you guys do? What games do you guys uh, play? I just downloaded that uh, Double Dragon Neon for PS3. They're giving it away on the uh, PlayStation Network. Uh, free. Uh, for PS uh, PlayStation Plus uh, members. And that game is pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, it really doesn't work when they're on the ground. I thought it was going to like suck them up. I thought it was going to suck them up and chop them up. I was wrong. Oh yeah, that's right. I can put his head on somebody else, and then I have to like do this whole quick time thing, like Shimu. This reminds me of Shimu, where you're like walking down the street, and then somebody's like giving you some lip, and then all of a sudden it's like you you have to press a button like B, and then if you don't do it right, you get punched out. Who's ever played? Have any of you guys played Shimu? It was an old Dreamcast game. I think they put one out on uh, Xbox too. Back in the early days, I miss my Dreamcast. I still have it. I should plug it up. Back in the day, Dreamcast was like creme de la creme. And um, I remember I had Marvel vs. Capcom 2 on Dreamcast. And that was like a really big deal back then. Because they had, you could get it on PlayStation. But then it was like, oh, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. It was like, you could get it on PlayStation. But then it was like, um, you couldn't swap the characters out because of the memory uh, constraints. Uh oh, get out of the way. Um, but yeah, the memory constraints on the PS3. So what they did was, um, if you had the Dreamcast version, you didn't have to do that. So you could literally just play it just like it was on the arcade. And I mean, I was tearing that game up. I... What the hell is this move good for? <laughs> Yeah, I used to put, I put so many hours into that game. And it took so long to uh, 
to unlock everybody because they had so many characters in that game. And you know, it's a lot of it's a lot of recent, uh, not recent, but uh, well, yeah, recent and current video games that escape that that longevity, that replayability. Uh, Borderlands is a game that's really known for its replay value, and this new Resident Evil that's coming out is going to be another game that's that's known that's going to be known for its replay value because every character is going to have a different um, storyline. So uh, I, I think. It, it was a time where developers were like ignoring kind of like the the replay value of games but now it's starting to come back more and more you see it in like heavy rain uh, i said borderlands resident evil even this game when i bought this game i heard that i was told i don't know how true this is but i was told that it's a quick game to run through but it has a high replay value and that's really good that developers are starting to look into that because if you pay 60 dollars for a game you want to get your money's worth but all right, not having it in the Game Caviar Studios. I've talked your ears off long enough. Live calm, lollipop chainsaw. Um, like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I'll talk to y'all later, man. I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.